Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Object in Space. So this is a game that I uh, used to play uh, some time ago, and it's one of my favorite games. Um, it's um, inspired by uh, submarine uh, warfare games, but um, the setting is space, right? So let's see. Um, you can play the story or you can play different scenarios you start with um with a ship and you can trade um among different uh stations in in a in a system and in the story you you follow um a specific story that the developers um have written and well it's it's um the general uh look and feel to it is a is a little bit retro all these uis and stuff it's it's very cool i i like very much the style so let's start okay so the core game of objects in space takes place over three months in the apollo cluster time is always moving forward this game auto saves whenever you dock on dock or use a jump gate okay and what's advanced start options story mode sandbox mode sp skip tutorial skip intro okay everything is normal okay let's begin no exceeding starship cassandra shuttle base 7 Okay, so this game is um, in fact made in 3D. All this is um, a 3D setting, but um, evidently you cannot uh, move around freely like a, a first-person perspective. And you um, you can click around things. If I click here, then I will um, get uh, this UI here so dock permit the cassandra permission is required on dock your utility shuttle from the cassandra okay so i think this is uh the, the name of the ship right click to return uh, from viewing a monitor okay i'm not going to request permission yet because i think we have to talk to this lady here so we are talking to wendy mafumo and um, he's she's uh speaking panglish so you know this is another thing about the game uh, the setting is uh, uh, this fut futuristic setting well there's a lot of it's, it's very cosmopolitan right there's a lot of uh, mix between uh, different cultures and i i like this this um, style right like this sci-fi setting hey look like you zoned out there for a second compadre you with us or what the cassandra ain't gonna check itself off for the last jump you ready to head out so um <laughs> yeah you can you can either um say uh, then you can give uh, different um, answers so i will go with what we're doing again because i want to know more about what we're doing what you can be that hungover surely look i get that it's uh, repetitive but whether it's the first time or the 15th we're still going out on our own in those etbt little shuttles okay if we don't make sure her system are all in check, who knows what could soar, screw up on cast next jump. It's nothing but us and space for light years in any direction. But you know, this already ain't your first rodeo. I know. Okay. So let me put on my flight commander hat for one second and say let's get started one last time before we reach apollo you're right let's go okay that's the spirit 
request and docking permission from the monitor, then jump on through the airlock. Oh, and keep the communications open so we can chat on the outside. Okay, see you out there. So now I know what to do. I will request permission to undock. And permission to undock has been accepted. You may depart at your leisure. Right click to return. Okay. And now we go through this airlock. And now we are in the ship, right? We are in the Cassandra. That's the ship. Um, I think you can, you can, um, if you, you can have access to other part of the ship. So that, those are the doors. Uh, these are the airlock doors, right? And I think this will, um, open or close the different doors. So door two is closed. I guess we have to close that door and that door now the doors are closed okay and i think we can no that's it cassandra remove re remora utility shuttle okay ss savitskaya registered okay uh -huh. change room arrow keys while zoomed out okay so with the arrow keys we can change rooms yeah right this is like um here there's a there's a map we are currently docked and here we can undock yeah let's let's do that Oh, and something already s Okay. Let's see who's hailing. What is this? SS Spio... Spio and Cop. Ah, this is Wendy. Okay, Wendy is hailing us. Hey there, Wendy here. Okay, switch into professional mode. Haha, <laughs> let's make it happen. Same as always. Rotate your ship to 50 degrees on your helm screen. Okay. 50 de degrees. Is this the helm screen? I think so. 50 degrees. So let's see. 50 degrees. That's it. Okay. Okay. We are in sync and burn main engines for a second or two to bring her up to speed so let's do that let's burn okay engine are online all right we're moving let's get out there and make sure cast in good shape before heading back stop the burn and let's drift for a while okay professional mode deactivating hey but listen back to what i was saying at poker i get giddy sometimes just thinking about this trip it's so freaking cool and i'm am i right like how the shit did we get here you know what i mean Okay. So are you thinking about something specifically? We are the furthest any human being have ever been from Earth. We are harboring some 70, 150,000 people back on the Cassandra. And it's up to us, just us, to help get her safely to the Apollo cluster. I don't know about you, but that really tickles me. Okay. Forget Earth and the haters. This journey is the single greatest thing humanity has done since inventing fire. Do you ever wonder what's waiting for us out there? In the Apollo Cluster, I mean. So many star systems to explore. 
I guess it could be anything, or what do the Cassandra ladies reading says say? I uh, more wonder what everyone back in Earth is doing. Okay. What do the Cassandra ladies reading say? Oh, they are still solid. They are still confirming <coughs> Kovalevsky's readings. Lagrange should be habitable and just waiting for us to make planet fall. <coughs> Lagrange, is this a, is this a planet? Because there's the Lagrange points, but I don't know if this is if they're referring to that. And I know that planet with potential life don't mean there actually is any. But even that one in a billion chance still excites me. And hell, even if there's nothing there, we at least know there will be planets rich in the gases and minerals we'll need to thrive. Okay, so this is like, um, yeah, we are explorers, right? We're going to this Apollo cluster thing. And we're going to visit some planets. Okay, that's as much as I can tell. And what's more exciting than being the first human to colonize an entirely new star cluster? Forget Mars, forget goddamn Neptune with its boring ass truck stop space stations. Neptune is boring, okay. This place is entirely on us, you know? It's what we make it. Yeah, it's exciting. I totally knew home humanity. Sure, but so was Earth. Okay. No. Uh, exactly. We'll be the best version of humanity we can possibly be. And now... And you know what? Screw whatever we consider humanity back on Earth. That was 10 years ago now. Here's the thing. We made a choice. You and me. We are one of only a handful of people who made the choice to leave all that behind and seek a new life among the stars you know um okay yep this one's a left right trip yeah damn straight ah okay let's come to a stop here head to your nav map and hit full stop so we can start scanning gas. Okay. Let's do that. How do we come to the full stop? Uh, ah, here. Full stop. So here... Um, here's our ship. And as you can see... Ah, I can also zoom with the uh, with the buttons. Okay, um, as you can see, uh, there's a, a an arrow pointing to the front, and the ship has around sensors, and there's some blind spot at the back, as you can see here. So that that this is like, yes, it's, it's, it, uh, this is what I. Um, in this part you can see how this uh, submarine stuff is right like you you have certain um, field of, of view where you can detect things and other things uh, the things that are at your back you can you, you cannot see and uh, yeah sometimes uh, you want to just um, be undetected by other ships okay so we are at full stop now Good work. So look, I've been thinking about this. And the way I see it is choice is loss. Everyone speaks about it like it's opportunity and it is. But it's also loss. It's the loss of every job offer you never pursued. Every cross you never kissed. Every damn, I don't know. Every time you choose chocolate over goddamn vanilla better get used to it it was what i'm saying it is what i'm saying okay 
Heck, I'll bet if you'd have chosen Earth, you'd probably be sitting in Johannesburg or some such place wondering about what you miss out on here in the emptiness. But like I say, choice is loss. Coming here wasn't your first and it won't be your last. That is true, Wendy, that is true. I hope it all works out for us when we get there. Yeah. So do I, so do I. Okay, Cassandra, status is nominal. We can start moving back in. Dropping a beacon on your nav map for the rendezvous now. Head to your nav map. Plot a course there and press engage. If you can see the beacon, you can pan around the nav map. It will pop up eventually. Okay, there's some... I think we saw this beacon or not? Where is the beacon? This one is the beacon, right? This is what she said, right? Okay, Cassandra, so we can start moving back in. Dropping a beacon on your nav map for the rendezvous. Head to your nav plotter course and press engage. Ah, okay. You can see everything there. Okay. And what's this? This is the beacon. Plot course. Ah, here, right? Ah, here we can pan. Okay, yes. This, this is the, the beacon here. We plot the course. Yes? The course is plotted. Plot the course there and engage. And engage here. Okay, that was not difficult. So here are all these um, all this information about or. Um, current status right okay I'm glad you're sucked too even if this stuff does make me nervous I mean we've been jumping for 10 straight years and we've seen the solar system from such a distance it's barely recognizable but you know what we are nearly there we're almost at Apollo and then we get to do something no other human has ever done before we get to start again, but like, really start again. Do you reckon Apollo will be okay? I'm really asking here. Yeah, I certainly think so, but neither of us can really know for sure. I guess it depends on the people in charge when we get there. Mm. Yeah, anyway, I suppose we don't. But we are the ones who get to decide. Whatever humanity looks like next, we are one of the few who can actually shape it. I don't know about you, but that excites the shit out of me. Hey, I got a joke for you. How many earthlings does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, I don't know how many. Oh, the shit cares. <laughs> who the shit cares? We're Apo Apollonians now. While those pricks are busy screwing it in light bulbs, we are making history look like a damn footnote. Okay. Hell, we are expanding the reach of human humankind. So much we are not just rewriting history, but rewriting what history even is. She's really hyped. <laughs> when is really hyped now. Here's what I think. Getting to the Apollo cluster is taking us 10 years. That's not only something no one's ever done before, but something no one will ever have to do again. We arrive, we build our side of Earth gate, and people can come and go as they please. It's just straight up awesome. 
Not another soul is ever going to embark on a 10 year space journey like this. I'll take them and it, it, it will take them an instant to do what we've done in a in a de decade. Yeah, right. So now um, it's becoming clear, right, what they're doing. They are like they are these pioneers, um, trail blazers. Uh, you can call it calling call them that as well. And they are in, a, an, in this ten years long journey to establish uh, a gate. A gate where I think ships can jump from Earth to Apollo, I I presume, in an instant. And this this is our mission, right, to establish this uh, Earth gate. We're not just trailblazers. We are not just pioneers. We are one of a kind, baby. Okay, so it <laughs> it's like Wendy was listening to. Me. That's pretty cool. You're right. That's assu uh, that's assuming that both we and they finish our sides of the gate as planned. Yeah, that's that's right. Damn right. I'm assuming that. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> it's priority number one. The second we make planet fall, yeah, I know. This will be the ultimate bridge. Earth gate will bring about trans. Cluster travel, trans cluster travel in an instant. Can argue with how insane that sounds. Yeah, okay. That is pretty awesome. She's very high, man. Huh. What? Huh? Oh, nothing. Just a blip on my scanners. Yes, we have trouble already. I'm sure everything looks normal now. Going ahead as planned. If it's serious. One of the crew will send instructions. I'm not worried. Okay, if you if you're not worried, I shouldn't be either. Maybe we should double check with the Cassandra first. Yep. Nah, those are just automated readings. Would be contacted directly if they were serious. Okay. All right. We are okay. I'm being told that you need to reposition slightly. Not sure why. I've dropped another beacon on your nav map. Plot a course for it and engage. All other ships are five by five and ready to jump. Soon as you're there, hit jump ready on the Cassandra monitor and I'll see you in Apollo, baby. Okay, another, I guess it's this one. And engage. Let's recenter the map. Course plot, let's do this. Or new home. Course plot, let's see if, if leaving Earth was worth it. <laughs> Nice one, Tiger. Choice is lost, but you're losing empty space and choosing a new haven. Hard to argue with that. See you on the other side. Okay. Connection terminated. Okay, we're heading there now. And then she said something about to hit jump. One jump left. Okay, Cassandra mission ship status. Uh, this is the Cassandra. 498,000. Wow, that's a lot. Solar winds retracted, battery 99. Oh, someone's calling. Alexandra Akua from the Cassandra. Okay, people, this is the Cassandra actual. All ships have reported in and we are ready for the final jump into Apollo. Okay, let's go. Everybody check your Cassandra status screen and select jump ready when you're in position. Okay. I think I'm in position.
So, jump ready, I have to click here. Incoming hail! Oh! What's up with the incoming hail? Unknown. No si signal from Cassandra. Okay. Oh, we arrived. Unknown. Okay, we are here now at our new destination. Incoming hails. What is this? Leslie Garbutt. Hey there. What's going on? You are right in there? What? Who are you? Where are the others? I'm Les, just running my local road through these here parts and suddenly you appeared on my radar and I'm like, heck, this ain't a normal jump location. So I figured I'd better see what was up. Oh, what is this? I think no one's supposed to be here. Tell me. Are you okay? You seem to be spinning. Uncomfortable. Like... Um... Can you help me? I can help you, yes. You're gonna keep on spinning and your ship's gonna keep on shaking like that till we fix it. Okay. I'm guessing it's your helm what's uh, shut. And unless you get back to your engineering section and take a look at it, you're gonna be spinning like that forever. Oh, I don't want that. Head to engineering and you're gonna want to open up your helm system, drag out the dead component and switch it with a working one from your storage. Can you do that? I think so. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Is it here? Ah, I think it's here. What is damage then? Ah, here, the helm, of course. This is the helm. Disconnect. Open. There we are. So something is, is uh, damaged here. Ah, this is damaged. So I guess we have to unscrew yeah now we open we take this that's damage we place this one replaced great now we close Ah no, sorry, not not that type of clothes, but this kind of clothes, and then we can screw things back. Yeah, that's okay. And connect. Yeah, I think everything is working now. Yeah, that was it. Can I stop spinning now? Burn RCS. There we are. Okay, well, I didn't... Let's see, you're in an old remora class shuttle. So you have merely serves. Uh, so if... Memory serves. You'll wanna get onto that engineer monitor near where your airlock is and use the interface to click on your Boston helm. I think I did everything. Yes, I did everything. Okay, now that's what your part gone. You wanna drag in? Yes, I replace everything. Nice going. Now hit the button down the bottom to the. Close it up, screw it back, yes. Welcome back to the land of the less mangled ships. 
So if you press the RCS button back on the helm on your bridge, you'll stop her from spinning. I did that already. So, oh, what, what you're doing out here all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Where is here exactly? Well, you're in the Leo system, not too far out from the Lago Gas Mines. Ring a bell? I... what? Where's the Cassandra? The Cassandra? Are you high? Well, relative to their nearest planetary body with a ground, I'd say probably yes. <laughs> no, well, maybe a little, but that's not why I'm asking. What's wrong with that question? Where is she? Did something happen? Oh, 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 I see what's happening here. You're a newcomer. I am, I mean, I guess. What's a newcomer, Saku? Since we all got here in a polo, we've had occasional support ships from the Cassandra mission popping in way later than the rest of the convoy. On the final jump, they got caught in some kind of space-time rift or some such bizarre thing, okay? They end up getting here all right, but way later than they should. And that's happening to me? How many others had it happened to? I reckon, okay. So, uh, welcome to Apollo. Sorry, there's not much more ceremony. Thanks, I guess. So, how late am I? Ah, yes, well, so this is the part other folks said in the papers they found the hardest. So you might want to sit down or something. How late am, am I? Just prepare yourself, okay? How late? We are coming up on 45 years since first planet fall on Lagrange. What? I'm half a century late. Now listen, let me guide you back to port. I'm reasonably sure there's someone there who can set you up with like a support group or some s or some such thing. Support group? Yeah, for newcomers folks like yourself. Folks who've lost folks, you know? Lost? Well, yeah, I mean, it's been 45 years. I hate to break it to you. But a lot of your old friends are likely dead. I mean, me, I've got fully grown kids of my own. And I was born here. Holy... Yes. That's it. <laughs> That's his rare reaction. I don't know about whether it's holy or not, but shit, yes. <laughs> if I recall the AEA passed a law a while back which let newcomers keep the vessel they arrived in. A short range shuttle like yours may not be much, but you can set a decent load of cash for it for its historical value and easily set yourself up as a freelance captain out here. Okay, that sounds good. Let me take you back to the nearest port. I can point you in the right direction and get you started. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So go into your nav map there and you should see an icon not too far off which is listed as Lago Gas Port. Why don't you why don't you click on that then press plot course and engage. Okay. I'll I'll fly there with you. Oh, and, and already we have some unknown here. Is this the destination or is that one, right? Lago Gas. Yeah, this is what... Okay. Let's plot course and engage. Probably the unknown is the guy talking to me, right? Hopefully. Because some of those or no unknowns are um, are pirates. They could turn out to be pirates. 
Okay, I'm en route to Lago Gaspar now. So listen, there's a few things you should know. I've heard that the people who came here on the Cassandra were expecting better than what we got. What did we get exactly? Well, plenty of places to start up colonies and such, but not a one of them got breathable air. Folks can walk around outside in some places, but only with breathing apparatus and only for short stints. So as not to, to get poisoned, you follow? Okay. Not what we hope for, but plenty of colonies sound promising. But we made it. We are we are all here. We're still surviving after half century. Yeah. Sure, plenty of colonies and space stations for most of them. Rapid transport from star system to star system is not half bad. And did we find any other life out here? Well, microbe like type things yes but nothing so large i'd comfortable call it an animal as such so no aliens then sorry friend no aliens there's probably much more to talk about which might shock you but let's leave it until you're on solid ground let's talk back okay Docking. Okay, the clamps are extended, attached. There we go. So, that's great. We are docked now. I guess we can open the doors. And we can get out. Welcome to Apollo, partner. I'm Les. We spoke when you was spinning around aimlessly in space. Just now. Er, uh, yes, I remember. Good times. <laughs> I'm excited as hell to meet a newcomer and listen, I was thank thinking on the way over here, you're probably pretty than lost right about now. No friends, no family, and so forth. Yeah, thanks. Um... What I mean to say is, I want to help, get you oriented, like, get you set up, understand? Sure, that sounds great. So first things first, your ship. What's wrong with my ship? I know, it's probably got some sentimental value to ya. And all but that old remora shuttle you came here in. Well, well, it ain't space legal. Ah, space legal. Yeah, like that old bird is 50 years out of date. No way you can legally fly her these days. You'll need to get yourself another ship before they'll get let you on dock. Okay, so yes, basically I will change my ship. And I have to start. This is like the proper beginning of the game. So everything... Uh, until now have been to like um, introduce you to the game to set up the story and to um, get you to learn like the, the ropes right how to control the, sh the ship and and stuff um, I think we will leave it here uh, for this episode and um, I uh, will make another episode where we um, perform some mission right uh, of the in the game in the next episode so that's everything for now i uh, uh, i hope you enjoy the the, the 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 game um how it looks i i really like this game when i when i started playing it has a lot of uh, story in it as you can see um it's not so much like a simulator uh, is is you you saw there like the, the the controls and stuff but it's really it's really a a, a, a fun experience uh, and i i like very much the, the the style of the of the game uh but 
probably in the in the next episode you will get um, uh, more um, a better picture of, of how the game plays this this was just a, a, like the introduction of the game so this is all for for now um, I hope to see you in the next video this is Cyber Settler signing off